Finnegan's Wake, Book One, Chapter Three, by James Joyce. Chest, sea, sedents, corpo de barragio, you spoof of visibility. In a freak fog of mixed sex cases among goats, hillcat, and plain mousy bigamy bob, and his old shan wacht, the black friar's treacle plaster outrage belittled, therewith was released in that king's rick of humidia, a poisoning volume of cloud barrage indeed, yet... All they who heard or redelivered are now with that family of bards and Virgobretas himself, and the crowd of Carac Q Lake de Cors, as much no more as be they not yet now, or had they not ever been. Can be in some future we shall presently hear amid those suave players of the Inkerman, the mime mumming the mick and his nick miming their maggies, Hilton St. Just, Mr. Frank Smith, Ivan St. Austell, Mr. J. F. Jones, Coleman of Lucan taking four parts, a choir of the O'Daly O'Doyles, double sixing the chorus in Fen McAll and the seven theories of Loch Nich. Galloper Troppler and Hurley Quinn, the zither of the past, with his merry men all zim zim, all the persons sin, Iria wiggled saga, which, thorough readable to int from and, is from top to bottom, all false tissues, antilibelous and non actionable, and this supplies to its whole holium of poor Osti Frosty, described as quite a musical genius in a small way, and the owner of an exceedingly nice ear, with tenorist voice to match, not alone, but a very major poet of the poorly meritary order. He began to no Sonian, but worked his passage up as far as the we all hang together, and a Manadovites. No, one end is known. If they whistled before him, he had curtains up, they are whistling him still, after his curtains dooms doom. I fool his husband, poor old Ahara Okorov, crestfallen by things and down at heels at the time they squeak, except at the Zaznok, Adri's shilling at the conclusion of the Crimean War, and having flown his wild geese alone in crowds to wander. On like Shuli Looney enlisted in Tyrone's house, the Irish whites and soldiered a bit with Wolsey under the assumed name of Blanco Fusolovna Boklovich, spurious, after which the car and the marble halls of Pump Court Columbarium, the home of the old seekings, looked upon each other and cast their haven evermore, for it transpires that on the other side of the water. It came about that on the fields of Vasilev's Kornik's inauspiciously, with his unit he perished, saying his papal leafless to his old chap, Give roll chocolates for mouther and loud boil, poor old dear Paul Horon, to satisfy his literary as well as his criminal aspirations, at the suggestion thrown out by the doomster in loquacity, lunacy, so says the Dublin intelligence, was thrown into a ridley's for inmates in the northern counties under the name of Orani. He may have been the utility man of the troop, Capable of sustaining long parts at short notice, he was sordid Sam, a dour, decent, diblancer, the unwashed haunted always by his ham, the unwished. At a word from Isfarel, the summoner, passed away painlessly after life's upsums downs one Halloween night, Ebris and in the state of nature, propelled from behind into the great beyond by foot blows, Kunli clouted upon his oyster and atlas, unbehanged and behooved and behicked and behooked of his last fish and blood bed scrappers, a Norwegian and his mate of Shea Wolving class. To the last straw glimped his bearing, this stage thunk hard, is said the pitfall and gagged him as prompt boxer, to have suddenly said, as had the brief thought, but fell in till, his head like a bice, dropped neck fust in till, a bonkrate cogged, me dreams, all oh, Laughlin's had come through, now, 
let the centuple selves of my e-gorge, as Nicholas de Cusack calls them, of all of whose I in my here and after, of course by recourse demission me, by the coincidence of their contraries, re amalgamerge in that indentity of undiscernibles, where the Baxters and the Fleshmans may they cease to be divil uns, and but at this point, through the iron thrust of his cockspurt start, might have prepared us, we are well nigh stink pothered by the mustard punge in the tail end. This out and brown candlestock melt Nolan's into peace. Hanvar, disliken as he was to Drio drama, his wife Langley the prophet, and the decentest, dozenest, short of a frusker who ever stuck his spickle through his spoke, disappeared in which, to doing, he has taken all the French leaves unavailable out of Callum Quiller's pravities. From the sour face of this earth, that austral plain, he had transmarried himself to so entirely spurlessly, the mother of the book with a dust whisk, tabularacing his obliteration done upon her involucrum, as to tickle the speculative to all but opine, since the levy, who might have been Langley, may have really been a redivious of paganism or a volunteer wusden that the hobo who possessed a large amount of the humoresque had tra- z- tooled his fonsters latitat to its finsterest interemost be she again if father san brown tea and toaster to that quaintest of yarn spinners is padre don bruno true and troster to the queen of Ayer spain was the reverend the sodality director that eupeptic vice flare a bare-faced carmelite to those palpitating pulpit which of us remembers the rare valent and Hornerable, Freto, Mister, Non, Lanmore, and Braun, sinning society sirens, see the Roman Catholic Prespacism, fortunately became so enthusiastically attached and was an objectionable ass who very occasionally coquetted a raffles ticket on his hat, which he wore all to one side like the hangle of his pan. If her elegance saw him, she'd have the canary. And was semi-privately convicted of malpractices with this hot wash table knife glossing over the cork in his pocket, that same snob of the Dunhill, fully several year schnomes, riper, encountered by the general on that red-letter morning or May noon Jove's day, and were they? Fute, fute. When? Fish Flynn Phil once throws his lips, tis folly to be fortune flaunting, and whoever's gone to mix hotel by the salt say water, there's nix to nothing we can do, for he's never again to see. It is nebulous and autodidact fact of the commonest that the shape of the average human cloudy fizz, whereas sallow has long days faded, frequently altered its ego with the possing of the showers not original, whence it is a slopperish matter given the wet and low visibility, since in this charazzi of one's thousand one nightingnesses, that sort of certainty which would indentified the body never falls to identifying the individual duon in scratch week square cut stock lavalier, regattable oxeter, baggy pants and shufflers. He is often alluded to as Sly Patrick, the eyelad in the eye lane, with already an incipient lust in the direct of aria boldness. One is continually first meeting with the odd sorts of others at all sorts of ages, who was asked by free board school shirkers in drenched coats, over wall, will, con, and auto to tell them, over a get, vol, paul, and dave, that fisher bed ghost story of the hardly credible Ed then tires of the haberdasher, the two courtries, and the three ankle chums in their bearskin goats. Girls and youngers, but he has changed a luck. Sign Torquil's time. Ya da tra gathery pimp, chesses shosafat, oco de boco, nine. Those many warts, those slummy patches, half 
sinister wrinkles. What has come over the face and the whole broader E? And shrine of Mount Mu, save us. The large fungal park he has grown. Drink, sport a common thing. It was the Lord's own day for damp. To wait for postponed regattas eventualizing is not a paddlecock shelter door. Juxta, mere only, and... The request for a fully armed explanation was put in lieu of Pat to the porty, a native of, of the sister isle, Meathman or Macon, by his brogue, ex-race eyes, local color, and local order, which are said to have been Arabic, clown Turkish, though the capitalist voiced nasal liquids and the way he sneezed at Z's, haul us back to the crowds and the brins of the Silorian or the vices, who, the lesser pilgrimage accomplished, had made pats and pigs older in Celt. The southeast bluffs of the stranger step shore, a refugium persecutorum, hence hindquarters, as he paused at even chime for some or so minutes, hit the pipe, Danny boy, time to one, barman, I'll take ten to win, amid the devil's one doldrum. Apple by her blossom window and Charlotte at her toss, Panomancy, his soul admirers, his only tarts in store for a fragrant kulubosh during his weekend pastime of executing with any oakly deadliness the consummatory pairs of provocatives of which remained provokingly but two, the ones he fell for, Lily and Tutu, Corkum, empties which had not very long before contained reed's family you rue at that before soaky but all the bottles in sobdom history will not soften your blood ather stout having reprimed his repeater and re to roomed his time's peace his revenances with still a life or two to spare for the space of his occupancy of a world at a time rose to his feet and there far from the tokelheim in a quiet english garden commonplace since known as whittington wild his simple intensive corollant vocality my dear brathers my most dear brathers as he so is a super as is a sipper speak of the one and talk of the compassionate called up before the triad of the precocious scare maker score taking spegulune help us al mal bellulo mi kedras kevi estas prava via dotte la visago respondas fraulino the now to ushere mythical habiliments of our far far an author of our doin television kills telephony in brother's broil our eyes the man their turn let them be seen and wolfbone balefires blaze the trail most if only that merry nothing may burst her bibby bakshi when they set fire then she's got to glow so we may stand some chances of warming to what every surkabacha tum or hum would like to know the first humphrey's latitudinous baver with Pugari behind, Calaboose belong, Big Boss belong, Kang the Tall, has four and hand bow in his elba room, surtout the refaced unmansionables of gingerine hewn, the state slate umbrella, his gruff woozy Wellesley, with the fin drin nuffs, and the gauntlet upon the hand, which in an hour not for him, solely evil had struck down the might he might have been. D stare whom his nation seemed almost ready to be about to have need, then, stealing his thunder, but in the befitting legomena of the smaller country, probable words possibly said of field family gleaming, a bit duskish and flavoured with a smile, seeing as ow his thoughts consisted chiefly of the cheerio, he aptly sketched for our soon-to-be second parents, Sukan C Y B, the touching scene, the solence of that stilling. Here one might a fin fell, boomster, robombonant. It seems like a land escape from Wildu Pixcru, or some seam on some dim arras, dumb as mom's mutinous. This mimage of the seventy seventh cousin of Christensen is audible to us across the wineless air, no older, nor mere airy, nor less potent of suggestion than in the tales of the Ting Mount prigged.